Hello Leo, welcome to Window to the Soul. Welcome back to my existing subscribers and welcome in general to anybody that may be new. This is your Celtic cross for you in July 2020 or whenever it may be that you were guided to hit the play button on this video. You have a strange meditation as well, Leo. I'm saying as well because Kansas was really bizarre. I, I'm not, I think I'm channeling in a very unique way right now. I got the word seeing and see or, and, and I couldn't decide is this the sea as in the ocean or is this sight as in we're seeing? Are we seeing someone or seeing through somebody? That, that was kind of it, honestly just seeing and sight which is strange because at the time I'm doing this reading today is the 25th of June and the moon is in Leo right now um, which speaks of not necessarily being able to see all that well um, kind of plunged in the darkness of the moon you know it's 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 a, it's a fleeting transit of course page of Pentacles okay so now the page of Pentacles sees as well he sees what it is he's moving towards. He's incredibly focused on a tangible target or a goal in some way. Let me just shuffle these clarifiers. Um, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description, Leo. The cards I'm using um, for this reading. All the, you know, disclaimer stuff about how this may or may not resonate and, and all that good stuff. Um seeing what else can, well, let me look at my notes um oh i also wrote i miss you that's that's it i just wrote i miss you Do, is that you do you miss somebody is somebody saying that to you are you saying that to somebody i miss you that that's it no context nothing my meditation i've done two now cancers and leo and it, they're coming through very strange it could be all these retrogrades venus has just turned direct today so who knows who knows why I'm, I'm i'm it's it's thrown me a little honestly it has but i think it's a good thing let's just pop these over here and let's clarify this okay so we've got a page under night wow what are you going towards you have set your sights leo sight sight there it is again on this is like laser vision focused on something that you have seen and you are racing towards right now um <clears throat> be careful because we've kind of got two we've got a we've got the slowest energy here with the pentacles and the fastest energy here with the swords could be leo that you really want to rush towards something here an opportunity a person or however it resonates for you but there's a part of you that kind of needs understands the need to slow down or it could be that something is slowing you down and you're kind of chomping at the bit to to fly towards something let's see what's crossing you and we'll we'll, we'll elaborate we'll expand upon this the Ten of Swords, Mercury in Gemini, self-doubt, <clears throat> cold, cruel words, look at all these swords, and the Knight of Swords sometimes brings that in. It's not because he's trying to be um, hot and cruel or nasty, it's just, it, it's over-enthusiasm almost, in this waving his sword around like an idiot, people are liable to get cut. But there's pain here. There's absolutely pain here. But the dawning of the new day is coming. You know, we're kind of we're moving past some pain. But absolutely, the pain is here. <clears throat> but now we're very much looking at something, seeing something that we want, and we're off to go get it. We're off to go get it. But why is pain crossing you, clarifier? Wow, look at these endings. Look at this ending energy. Yeah, we've got the Ten of Swords. It's a painful ending. And the Death card is a painful ending and or painful farewell. Um, Scorpio, Pluto. It's... 
what what needs to be over what what's finished what's what's done here so you can <clears throat> i feel it is done no i don't feel this is you trying to let go i feel something is done and it's left you with no choice here leo but to go and get something else but from what i'm seeing here the we're, we're kind we're feeling kind of good about it i think there is a bit of trepidation perhaps even hesitation it looks like you've almost been forced into looking somewhere else for something new here <clears throat> leo um let's let's get some more cards and see what's going on so what's what lies at the root of this situation so this could be your work this could be um a career kind of situation it could be that you've been forced out of a job or a career path that you were heading down this is the eight of pentacles the sun in virgo now generally you know the pentacles do deal with what it is that's tangible what's what's real this could be money finances resources time priorities responsibilities anything like that um let's clarify look at all these endings goodness me now we've got the 10 of it's already finished it yeah it's already finished um this is something you've worked really really hard on but it's it's done this is something that you poured a great deal of energy into but it just got too much but what i do like leo is you're not god ending 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 you're not i don't see you wallowing in self-pity here i see you just kind of it's like right okay so um that's that's in the past that's done that's when i'm moving on now uh what's next and and you've spotted something you absolutely have and you're going to go and get it but there is there is a bit of anxiety about will i be able to get it perhaps you're rushing in a little bit too um, enthusiastically perhaps you're not really thinking it through because it's if this is let me give you an example if this is a relationship this is like rushing into a rebound relationship that is a very specific example um that might actually be exactly what is happening for some of you but <clears throat> not not so much feeling that as in i was just trying to give you a tangible example there um i cannot imagine that this would not result in a great deal of disappointment this energy I, i'm not seeing the energy of disappointment what i'm seeing is this combination and thinking this this must be disappointing for leo because to work so hard on something and then to feel that it just you just couldn't cope with it you just couldn't keep doing it it's like you couldn't maintain that pace um i'm very much getting a career kind of vibe here but this could easily be a romantic relationship this could be a spiritual journey honestly leo this could be you know i'm trying to achieve spiritual ascension and it's not working i i don't know what so maybe you're you, this could be that you've studied really hard and it's just it's too hard for you or it's just not satisfying in some way very much turning your attention onto something else because and that demonstrates wholehearted acceptance that something is absolutely done finished over let go of moving on um the the ten of wands is like saying i've already finished i've already finished and i said that here this isn't you trying to let go something has has gone something has been let go of it is finished it is done let's see the recent past then the page of swords did somebody bring you some kind of information or news the truth that was cutting 
somebody bringing some kind of information or you finding out something about a situation or a person clarify it please hmm which led you to want to um take care of number one led you to realize you could only rely on yourself so this is i mean accompany it with this yeah somebody's let you down here and you've let go of that energy you've certainly not accepted that energy in your sphere you've said no to being disappointed and or let down by somebody somebody wasn't there for you so you decided leo well if that's the truth if that's the way it's going to be then i'll i'll look after myself thanks um you're actually very capable of doing that i'm not getting a massively happy vibe honestly leo what i am getting is release acceptance self-confidence being self-confident doesn't mean you're rolling around in joy and happiness it's more powerful than that it's stoic that's the word stoic okay so if that's the way it has to be fine i'm good i'll take care of myself thank you but some kind of information or news came in that led you to realize that you could only rely on yourself but again you weren't all oh woe is me nobody's there for me i have to i'm the only person i can rely on no you know that that actually created a, um, a place of power within which you stood into you stepped into that power like okay so if i can't rely on anyone it's a good job i can rely on myself isn't it it's strong but it's a bit stoic yeah that's that's definitely coming across very strongly stoic it's a very english mindset <laughs> from your english tarot reader here um over here on my little island thousands of miles away from all my wonderful american subscribers i do hope you're all safe over there i have a lot of american friends um i visit america when i can obviously i can't i was supposed to be in orlando next week and uh, obviously that's not happening devastated that's got nothing to do with you has it leo <laughs> this is saying i know what i want and i can get it myself okay so let's have a look at what you're focused on where's your, where's your mind at right now leo okay so we're in the moon which and i said at the very beginning of the reading did i not that there is a your leo the moon currently is in your sign and hmm why is the moon here wow okay so we're, we're so this is like this sort of truth here look that this this information or this news that somebody brought to you somebody told you something or you found out something perhaps you saw something on social media perhaps you did a little investigative work you kind of put your detective hat on or you or, or somebody just came and told you something or there's some that whatever this is that that led you to realize you could only rely on yourself and move into this step into this um nine of pentacles energy here this is kind of what's on your mind here and this is sight this is clarity this is seeing and this is not seeing at all this is being kept in the dark okay there it is thank you um so i always apologize for the pauses i think if you understand me as a reader by now and i'm certainly not the only one sometimes we just need a moment to allow the messages to to come in organically um 
this is what you're ruminating on this is what you're thinking about it this is almost okay i think you're a little bit angry with yourself um how could i how could have i been so blind that's what this combination is saying the moon is pisces neptune and mutable water the ace of swords um, is the beginning or the seed or the idea of all of the air signs libra aquarius and gemini this is i was blind but now i see but i'm getting you're a bit annoyed with you kind of like how could have i been so stupid don't do that to yourself leo please don't do that to yourself maybe you're not maybe that's maybe this is just why but the thing is why are you dwelling on the fact you couldn't see something when now you now you can see it you are dwelling on the fact that you couldn't and and i'm getting that energy that we're kind of beating ourselves up a little bit of this was right in front of my face this was so obvious why didn't i see it why didn't i pay attention to the red flags um did everybody else know was i the last to know that's absolutely where what's kind of coming across right now and it's it's frustrating it's annoyed um bitter even perhaps so you're not dwelling on what it is you've lost or what it is that's lost you yeah let's do it that way that's better if this is a person leo you didn't lose them they lost you okay what you're dwelling on is not that what you're dwelling on is your own past inability to see the truth perhaps people or somebody tried to tell you or tried to show you and you ignored that perhaps there were red flags Perhaps you feel duped, you feel the wool was pulled over your eyes, perhaps you feel you trusted too much, too soon. You're annoyed with yourself here for that. Let's have a look moving forward. What lies ahead? There's a pause. There's a beautiful self-reflective pause here all sevens are a pause in different ways some are procrastination some are hesitation the seven of pentacles is a pause to reflect assess taking some time to decide i think moving forward this is a lesson that you will be taking with you in trust for the future i think you will at least for the time being for the you know near future perhaps be overly cautious in how it is you commit to people or things because i think the little bit of paranoia or suspicion i think trust has been damaged here massively massively damaged and this is right well in future i will not be making this mistake again let's clarify the seven of pentacles yeah six of swords beautiful the six of swords is the moving to karma waters card it, it's so much more than that now what i tend to do when i look at pairs is is there um a common theme for the two cards that i have because that is the theme that of course is leaping out and what i'm seeing here is the theme of reflection self reflection re-evaluating observing obstacles adjusting yourself accordingly so you can move forward you're taking a very very hard look at yourself here leo asking yourself could i have done something differently perhaps had i been too trusting did i engage in a little bit too much drama <laughs> leo leo drama no 
<laughs> you're done with it though aren't you you're bored of it you're tired of it absolutely exhausted with the drama and okay so a little bit of drama might be exciting yeah you're not doing this whole well they did this and they did that and i was perfect and awesome and they were just the worst person on the planet and no you're not doing that you're being far more mature and self-reflective than that did i trust too much did i give my too much of myself away too soon did i indulge or engage in drama a little bit too much okay if i did then lesson learned this is absolutely lesson learned moving on certainly a more cautious approach in the future i would love for you leo to tell me in the comments what this what this revelation was what it was that you found out what it is that you're dwelling you know what what it is that you couldn't see um it's 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 okay so it's tough energy it's tough energy moving forward but it's it's good energy in the sense of there is so much scope for growth here leo you know you're not just burying your head in the sand and skipping off into the sunset and telling yourself everything's wonderful and you're not pointing the finger at somebody else either you're pulling all of this inward and looking for the lesson and seeing how you can grow and learn from that and yes that is that's potentially a challenging place to be in in that moment but you're doing it anyway you're not shying away from anything you might have done there's no denial here it's it's beautiful but yes challenging so it looks like july i think we're kind of heading towards a breakthrough and this has been coming across this has been building up for a while for you now leo as i've been reading for you and i do feel when we hit your season we only have to get through cancer now and then it's and i've said it last reading i said it the reading before then it will be your time to shine and i think that's what you're moving towards um and I think you feel it as well. I think you feel, I think this on some level, you know you're, you're leveling up here. You're doing the work, which is great. You know, you might actually quite literally be doing shadow work. The moon often speaks of that. Um, you know, shadow work is, is a great thing to do. It's not necessarily part of a spiritual path. Shadow work's more a psychological approach, but it's absolutely a wonderful thing to do um just make sure you you understand the difference between spiritualism and psychological work it's all work that's why shadow work comes from a psychiatrist carl carl jung um i'm getting off track mercury retrograde has done that to me a lot for these readings so far let's have a look at your suggested approach release 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 the world gorgeous glorious beautiful you have the whole world at your fingertips uh, everything is changing now lesson learned lesson learned moving on new chapter closing up the successful completion of this ending your suggested approach is to just let go and let god whatever god represents for you god represents many many different things to different people that phrase just came across very strongly i'm not trying to alienate anybody by using the word god please understand that that means whatever it means for you let go and let god like trust the universe this is this is done and now we can release you look how she's throwing this hat into the wind here clarifier for the world the knight of pentacles we're we're getting there aren't we yeah we're getting there slowly but surely and very grounded very secure that this is what you're moving towards okay so you understand leo you might not quite be here in this beautiful release it's all done lesson learned energy just yet but you know you're moving towards it you understand the value of it you you feel it coming it's good 
it's good energy it's good energy i really like this for you sorry if you can hear that dog barking outside i do have all my windows open because it's very very hot here in england i'm sure if you live in florida where i should be next week it would be a lot hotter than it is here but for english people this is hot okay so i'm melting and all my windows are open um, I know in America they close the windows when it gets hot and put the air conditioning on. <laughs> Let's have a look at what do you need to know, Leah? Oh, the Seven of Swords. They're not telling you the truth. They're not telling you the truth. Who's not telling you the truth? That came across that that was so strong they're not telling you that who's not telling you the truth leo and how wow goodness me five of swords so we've got the moon in aquarius and venus in aquarius winning an argument cutting words somebody's not somebody's not telling you the truth you need to know that that's what the, the why why who I'm not really seeing so much focus on somebody else here. I think there are clearly other people involved that, and things have been said and things have been done that's caused you to do all of this inner work, this self-reflective work, potential shadow work, whatever. It's a very self energy and it's good, I like that. But what you need to know and the phrase is, it's just, it's in my head, it's so strong. They are not telling you the truth. That's what's, they're not telling you the truth. I don't even know who this is, Leo, honestly. And apologies that I'm not able to give you any more. That's all I'm getting is that phrase. Um, somebody wants to win somebody wants to degrade or humiliate you i think for the leos that have come this far that this reading is resonating for i think you know i think you know i think that message has come across very strongly for a very particular reason and you know what if you're sat there thinking i have absolutely no idea who this is then please disregard that's not then this is not for you okay i feel there is there is some some of you out there that need to know this right now they're not telling you the truth okay please do let me know in the comments what that means i would love i'm, I'm super nosy and uh, it helps with my understanding but my understanding is not important it's, it's just kind of a bit of validation for me as a reader okay um i hope that works out uh, you know um it's a bit worrying but i think you'll know what to do with it now you know now you've you've got this information Generally, tarot doesn't tell you things that you don't already know. Not really. This could be not so much a revelation as more as confirmation. Hopes and fears. Hmm. I'm going to go conquest the world. World's domination. King of one style. This is your king, Leo. The king of fire. Inspiring. Projecting his authority because he's the hero. He's the leader. He's a natural born leader. This is ambition. What are we ambitious about? Page of Pentacles. We started with the Page of Pentacles right here in the center. The first card we pulled. Yeah. Whatever it is you were focused on that we spoke about at the very beginning, whatever alternative thing it is you're turning your attention towards right now, your hope is that you the ambitions that you have will become tangible and real that this opportunity for something new this new possibility this goal you've seen that you've set your sights on that you're focused on your hope is that you will be able to conquer it go and get it and your fear is that you might not so we've I, I like this this is like a full circle we've come back around to this energy here that we started off with um it's nice it's like we've gone through this kind of inner work process but we've kind of 
come we've, we've we've full circled back to this initial conclusion let's have a look then at the potential outcome for july july how are we in july already the knight of wands this is your night you're living in the moment impulsive adventurous charismatic fun seeking stimulation it's good energy good sense of humor you have to go and live life let's clarify wow here you are that wow the ace of wands being inspired by something new a new hobby a new endeavor a new person this is desire yearning energy this is great this is so good this is like a new lease of life but it's so fun fun it's fun what are you passionate about go and get it go follow your heart what gorgeous fun energy i think you will emerge from the, if this is like a dark night of the soul kind of energy or like a shadow work kind of thing i think you will be emerging from that with this renewed vigor with this renewed sense of that like lust for life it will be your turn time to shine towards the end of july absolutely 100 percent um leo this is gorgeous i love this for you like i said i can see there are challenges here but this is a great outcome go and get it go get what you want make it happen have fun be playful be childish even you know it, it's definitely it's not super serious it's 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 stepping into that leo spotlight that i would expect you to step into leos are not going to stay in the shadows for very long okay i'll finish up uh going through the signs let me just find my list here here we go uh this i'm going to do these in the order that i was guided to do this batch of readings so i did cancer first and then i did you leo so i'll start off with a card for cancer and then a card for you well if you're dealing with a fellow leo rather do bear in mind your person's moon rising venus all that stuff when we pull these cards as well so if you're dealing with another cancer another cancer if you're dealing with a cancer the cancer is the knight of pentacles so the cancer's kind of here the cancer is um slow being very slow with you now the thing is now i'm pulling a card for whom you're dealing with here and i don't know it's not this has been very much a spread of you so if if it's if your focus isn't another person or there is a i mean there will be another person here so these are going to be all over the place i can feel it slow slow movement not really showing any movement but perhaps coming at you slower than you realize if you're dealing with another leo leo is the page of pentacles here this is you isn't it because you were right here in the center this is you yeah this is the this is because it's a reading of the self you're you're here and you're here it's this being focused on that new possibility if you're dealing with a gemini gemini is the ten of swords right here pain hurt heartbreak loss humiliation damaged these are coming across so strangely right now i'll carry on i'll carry on pisces if you're dealing with a pisces pisces is uh trying to take care of themselves uh this is the nine of cups pisces is um perhaps being a little bit greedy selfish healthy selfishness is in the eye of the beholder perhaps um certainly working on self-love not sharing if you're dealing with a capricorn capricorn is the queen of pentacles did we have no that was for cancer cancer had that capricorn is um repressing their feelings go figure <laughs> an aquarius if you're dealing with an aquarius aquarius is in this moon energy up here a lot of these feel like they're you a lot of these feel like i'm talking about you leo please do take this however it resonates for you pisces no aquarius aquarius I'm, I'm a bit all over the place is this a mercury retrograde thing or 
Is there a reason why I'm confused here, Leo? Aquarius is worried, anxious, in the dark, doesn't have all of the answers. Taurus. Taurus is the lovers. Taurus is facing a dilemma or a choice based on love. Taurus is trying to open their heart to their true feelings. Aries. Aries is the sun, beautiful. Aries would like to put the past behind them. Aries is waving a massive red flag. Now there is no red flag in this particular card, but in traditional Rider Waits, and I said, we talked about red flags here, didn't we? And then we have this, someone's not telling you the truth. Aries is, there's a red flag that surrounds Aries. That might mean something for some of you. I've messed up all of my cards, look. Who's next? Virgo. Virgo is the magician. Beautiful. Virgo is... Virgo knows. Virgo knows something. Ah, okay. So this is... It's either... This is all you, or you have loads of people around you. Virgo knows something. Virgo has a clear vision. Virgo can see. Hmm. Libra. Libra is the two of cups. Libra um, is looking for a safe space to express themselves in some way. Scorpio. Scorpio is strength. This is your cards. It might be that this is again you. You might have Scorpio in your chart somewhere. Um, Scorpio is showing a lot of generosity. They're being very protective over themselves or someone very, very loyal, very protective, loyal energy I'm getting from this Scorpio. Finally, Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the Four of Cups. Sagittarius does not want it. They're like Jon Snow. I don't want it. I don't want it. She's my queen. No, um, Sagittarius is saying hard pass. Thanks. I don't know what to. I absolutely don't know what to. I am utterly... I'm completely confused, Leo. <laughs> but I know that this is for someone, that somebody completely understands this and somebody needed these messages today. I do hope I was able to help you on your path, Leo. We're, we're nearly there. It's nearly your season and I can feel it coming in for you. I really can. So hang in there because this is gorgeous and this is the end of July. Good luck. I'll speak to you all soon.